Hi and welcome to Variety Tech Today. Today's topic, home media through the years. Films used to be a luxury. If someone had a film projector at their house, it was a big deal. They collected 8mm, 16mm, 35mm would be big time. And then came VHS, changed the world. Finally, people could have a home movie theater in their own home. Of course, the downside was that video cassettes were inherently limited in their resolution and clarity, but it was a start. At the time, video files who preferred better quality often opted for Laserdisc, which was a record-sized disc that held a movie with better quality than a video cassette. Although the size and other factors made it more inconvenient for the masses, that all changed with DVD, a much smaller CD-ROM sized disc. This entirely changed the culture of video collecting. Now people weren't satisfied with random, limited, incomplete collections of TV shows and the like. Now people could have complete seasons and complete series as part of their library. They could also have access to much more bonus material than before, as well as scene selection, subtitles, alternate audio tracks, and more. The video and audio quality also received a boost, which was a definite pro for video files. However, it was only a marginal increase in actual resolution above VHS, and of course, nothing compared to actual film. That led to the desire for high-definition content. Besides content that was transferred from film strips, Digital video technology enabled high-definition camcorders and movie cameras, but it would be too much to fit on a standard DVD, at least in the best quality. That led to the rise of Blu-ray, which could store 1080p video. However, if you were around at that time, you might also remember a competitor to Blu-ray called HD DVD. This could also deliver full HD video, although it was often interlaced and it didn't hold as much as a Blu-ray disc. So ultimately, Blu-ray won out in the end. Soon came Blu-ray content that was 3D for 3D televisions. And then more recently, Blu-ray content that was in 4K, which could refer to ultra-high definition 2160p, or for the case of movies that weren't actually that resolution, HDR, or high dynamic range, which also increases the video quality when viewed on the proper television. Of course we know that streaming has become very popular, but any who say that it will completely replace physical media has to realize that they aren't the only market in existence. Yes, there are many video files who appreciate high quality content, and that's something that streaming can just not deliver for multiple reasons. It's good, it's often good enough, and that's fine, and it's a great resource, but physical media really does have a place and a purpose. So what's next for physical media? Well, there's talk of 8K Blu-rays, there's talk of glasses-free 3D or multi-view 3D. So we'll just have to see what innovations are made and what actually makes it down the pipeline to the public. In any case, see you next time on Variety Tech Today.